Hello and welcome to my project, uh, which are uh, Pocket Manager. It's a live coding session where I develop a useful JavaFX application for managing XML files, which are consist of satellite channels information. So basically, I am at the point where I need to write very important stuff, and let me just briefly explain what I will try to do to achieve today. So, basically, I was able to write my file custom chooser, which allows to select needed files from file system. And let me just write here custom, custom, oops, it's not right, uh, yeah, custom, custom, custom file chooser. Uh, function function selection of files XML files this uh, class reads files and write them to my main menu controller and now my main menu controller main menu controller what it should do so main menu controller it needs to to load files and populate populate memory with data from the input data I need to be able to populate only then when I have loaded three valid files basically pop let me just Populate Let me just uh, kill it And then just right here like Populate data Oh, no, read um, read files only when the amount of valid files reached the reach free. So I have three files which I need to read, and I need to to read these files only then when my um, list of paths to the files has amount of free. Only then I know, now I can read. And how it will be uh, done? I need to be able to write some sort of a listener to the list where I store the paths to files. This listener basically uh, would wait when the list size is reached the amount of free and then he, is, he will uh, basically start to basically start to load the data well that, now I need to be able to test this um, idea so basically here is my test I need to write the test um, what should I do? I write here test like void. So what I'm testing? Um, I need to read three files. So testing if 
main controller first of all I need to make sure that my main controller can actually notice that three valid XML files were loaded main controller uh, testing if main controller can can notice free valid files valid valid Okay, now what about my assertions? So basically, here it's pretty should be pretty simple integer. Um, expected amount amount of file paths, which is free. Then I need to to do some iteration. And let me just quickly look it up. Write valid path to custom file chooser. And then I need to initialize initialize it like so and of course it's not it will fail because I need to populate this list and I want to populate this list with valid files bucket satellite services Bucket set blood services, and I hope, I hope uh, that my test that test data is available. Let me just quickly make a DRC. See, yes, I'm using Windows. Um, just pretty simple development platform for me. Okay, let me just write it here like so. Think, yeah, and I think I can actually get part plus plus. Yep, I can open the data. You don't see it because it is opened and at the other window, but still, it works. And actually, 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 let me do Explorer. So, so yeah, yeah, you can see it too. Here is my file services, little buckets, and yeah. Okay, so now. In my test, I need to actually call this method, which inputs this data. Basically, like so. Now, and now I can actually write this. Let's just quickly run this test. It's not written completely, uh, but partially. And I need to verify that it is doing what I need to do. OK. 
Okay. Yep. Okay. But it's not it is not complete test. So now I need to make sure that I'm an actual 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 amount okay so this will be pretty interesting actual amount of file paths and here how it works I need to call the main controller method um, I need to call from main object main view object here it is main view object let's do this right here and here I just need to get hold of main view object uh, get controller get uh, main menu controller and here I need to write method let me just think so I have an observer observer uh, it it is an, uh, actually it's listener a listener is supposed to listen to the state of the object and when the state of the object reached some point he should he should actually do other stuff mm. and let me just think about so I'm actually so it should calculate the amount of Oh, okay, now now I understand my thinking process. So I don't need this, and I don't actually need this. What it needs to be, what needs to be done, I need actually to have a boolean check. Boolean expected result true. Actually, let's just use boolean wrapper. And here, let me just do the same stuff. Boolean actual result. Main view object. Get controller. and here I will just put the method get um, so I need to get the state of of loaded start start to load XML file state get state get status of load XML files and then we can actually make some sort of assertion uh, assert 
equals I always misspell it so I think expected actual result and here our message uh, files uh, Let me just quickly look up into the API. I'm I will I'm happy to use to have an API. Where it is? Uh, sometimes I forget it, but not often happens. Um, API. Third equals. Yeah, I just need to. Right camel case type. Oh, here it is. And then I just need to write here, like, I don't know, um, the state, the status of loading, of loading XML files is false. So this is basically test-driven approach. Uh, why he don't like it? Assert equals. I hope. I hope we just import issue. Assert equals. I think it's just. Uh, boolean. Boolean. Should be possible. Let in short object boolean condition. I hope it is defined. It will be actually amazing if it's not. Let me just quickly check it. Uh, now I think it just uh, have some issues with the assertion I mean uh, with the import yeah, I think I need to add the import let me just do it uh, no wait a second assert equals no it's here uh, assert equals Double float long. Ah, okay, so that means I actually don't need a sort equals. Actually, I think I can use a sort not 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 uh, false. Assert not false. Yeah, I think I have a problem. Let me just quickly look up to, into the guide because um, boolean, boolean, boolean assert not null. This is what I need to do. Assert not null. Ah, uh, no. Uh, actually, I need to make assertion with booleans. Actually, about assertions, first name, last name, strange, right. what actually you can assert booleans, maybe, maybe assert Z, uh, and 
it to just yeah, it takes it takes a while. Okay, let me just quickly pause. Yeah, I did found. Uh, yeah, I just forgot that J unit has a third true. A third true. Yeah, this is what I need to do. And I saw that supply condition is true. Basically, so true. I need to <coughs> I need to import. I need actually to do it. I don't need this variable. It's good. Okay. Yeah, create method boolean takes primitive data type. Okay, fine by me. Should it should work? Boolean condition, Boolean condition string message, and basically I think now it's problem with the import. Okay, just need to. <coughs> okay, now now it's cool. And I need to add for the other assertions. Let me quickly pause. Okay, so now it's all corrected. And I hope. Okay, now this pr probably. Um, this is actually problem with the clips, I think. Because it should work. This assertion should work. But the test probably will fail. I think. Let me just quickly do some stuff. So, as I expected, it was some sort of eclipse bug. Now I just read it some sort of mockup. And basically, um, view fail sending error report just just waiting for the test and it should prob probably fail because I did not implement the listener for the loading of the file, so yeah. Okay, failed. Yeah, now it works. Uh, so basically, I need to copy my method. So I have written my failing test, pretty actually simple. Now I need to go create this method. Uh, okay, so this method at the end of, the, of this stuff. And this will basically fail once again. Just quickly run it. Yep. 
Okay, cool. Uh, still have failing tests. This is what actually I expect to have. And let's just switch to the main program and think about how we should deal with this stuff. Uh, so basically, yeah, I, I know it's large, large class, and some. I think I will refactor main menu controller to this, but only after I get to manage to load the data into my main UI, and then I just will do the appropriate appropriate uh, refactoring yeah basically basically refactor some code to, to make it more even more cleaner uh, currently what I need to do I have my initializer where I can put where I need to put my listener basically I need one variable which is private um, boolean uh, status status of loaded valid valid loaded file xml file paths xml file files paths okay main menu controller need to initialize this value with false Uh, I actually need this kind of stuff. I'm actually thinking about using getting a setters. Yeah, getting a setters. Okay. Now I have getters and setters is state valid set status okay it's fine fine by me uh, and here I just need to call this method cool and this I will call it in where is my here okay now here I need to set up walls and this is uh, what I need to do but still my test will fail Because I need to listen to move to the state. Okay, cool. And here I just need to make sure actually actually I need to go back to my main menu controller. Uh, main menu controller. And here, where I have my initialize, there I need to put some code. Here I put put the code, the code for listener. And this is listener four. my paths of valid XML files and this is basically will 
check if path of valid XML files reached uh, expected amount of files. Actually, it will check throughout all, all application. I mean, it will check for the amount of files which I have loaded. And then it invoke build. It will actually start at this point of moment. It will start a build process procedure. Uh, and then the next step will be like populating uh, the data from the memory to the main view, main UI. So it will get uh, some sort of uh, interesting. What I need to do, I need actually be able to load the data, observe, find out if amount of files has been reached. Okay, so now I need to write a listener. And I have an example how to do that. Uh, wait a second, here it is. No, here it is. I did the listener, and this probably will be uh, look like this. But let me check. Let me pause. Okay, so now I have the, the, the result. So you actually see that my listener works, and I'm actually my test is still failing uh, because run the unit test but I clearly uh, have fully functioning listener which shows you right now exactly so I have here this result and it shows the change between two different uh, inputs. I have actually three uh, three inputs, but uh, the last one is just it, it is not um, mean. Actually, how to check it? How much? How many elements I have? I need to change to my controller. And the, the place where I output this message, I need just to have, let me, yeah, I have a lot of stuff here. Let me just quickly go there. So here I am initializing my observable list. And actually here is the place where I'm doing this work. So he say telling me that I need to add. Uh, I just add string because I work with string. This would be pretty sufficient. Well, let's just um, run. Uh, just write here. Amount of elements. And here I just need to get observable list because I uh, size sorry size because I put my I put in two places in one place I put <coughs> actually I need to show you this part um, maybe then it's better understood it's like at the end of the file so where the place where I add it so here I adding my input file path to the list array list and here I am adding to the observable list why 
because this is only one case uh, how I can actually notice that I that I have new changes in my list but basically let me just go to the up to the top of my file and here this is the code and now what I need to do I need to once again run my test to quickly clear to quickly notice the changes now it will display amount of elements in the observable list so I add new input file amount of elements I have already two elements in my list and ah, okay and let me let me quickly let me just quickly go over why I have added a three Ah, okay. It's basically of uh, of the index. Here is the uh, place, and here is the. Uh, Why oh, have four elements? <laughs> so I, what I need to do, I need to. Let me just quickly think about. Let me just go and write here system output just to see how many elements are actually in the list and get main controller so get main controller get observable list and this is all need to be done to string all right now let's do it again First file, second file, and the fourth file. Now, what I have here in my OK, so I see I have buckets one time, buckets second time, and uh, okay, I know where is the problem. Where is the problem? I just need to. I just need to make sure that uh, my add, adding I adding too much uh, elements. So in the main controller, I need to find the place where I'm calling this adder. It's kind of tedious one, but uh, anyway, you see how it goes. So. Add user input path to file. I'm actually need to look it up. This this uh, call. Okay, so now I have the problem which I have experienced before. So. Uh, I need to make sure that uh, how I should put it I actually need to make sure that I only add when my current uh, get observable get observable get So the index, basically, it's only one case. Zero is equal to actually, it's in, it's kind of in reverse probably, and then I need to add. 
this file. So what I just <coughs> already did. Um, I have the situation where the first element always added into the observable list, but if the system add the, the another one, it can happen that I actually add two the two same elements in the list. So here I'm making sure that at the given index at the beginning I would I add only once. So if the if this uh, expression is false and basically it will be always false when it is it, it probably work and just need to make sure and the day use info file check yeah so let me just I have here get counter XML file zero let's just run the test and see what it happens pretty interesting problem So I, I add the star one time. Okay. Second time. He noticed the change. And now I have buckets, satellites, satellites. Sat uh, mm, strange. Interesting. So. I need <coughs> I need to check my logic. Uh, actually, I need to check my logic. So Wait a second. Let me let me think quickly think about it. <coughs> so each time Let me just run all other tests. I hope it, it won't fail. Wait a second. Wait a second. So I see where the problem is. Let me just first uh, of all run my test. All, all, all of my tests here. Let me just run all of my tests. I hope it won't fail. So I'm thinking about that like like I have some corner case where I add some stuff but I add it not in the right order to my observable list. Here you see clearly that in my other list I have only three files. Now I have different input and actually Interesting problem. Yeah, I have only one failing test.
Yeah. So, actually, the problem is. Do I have any other system out of NTLM? Hope not. Let me just, just quickly check it. Let me just quickly check it, check it, check it, check it. Ah. Okay. Okay. So it was some sort of concentration mistake. Um, let me quickly show you what I mean. So basically, now I have. Uh, I, I already fixed it. So, the mistake was just, um, just okay, this part. so mistake was in initialization. Uh, I actually, here is my constructor, and I need to use a new array list, because I use it the array list of um, path XMLs, and this was actually wrong, so it need be initialized properly. So now, now when I run my test, just run my test, it fails, but I get the proper uh, output. Let me just quickly show you. So the first one, added at index zero. The second file at index 1 and I see that it, the element was changed and the second and at the end I see the output here is the output of my observable list and this is what I actually expected to see from the behavior of my application so what I need to do right now I need to make sure that I sending right value I don't need this I just uncomment this and go to my get status okay so now into my I don't need any more this kind of stuff and I say following if and here I just need to make sure that my get get observable get observable get observable list of XML paths is exactly I mean the size size is of free okay so now I need to mm, set set status of valid uh, set status of valid loaded XML paths Which is true. Okay, so now I just I have set status of valid loaded XML file paths. Uh, why? Uh, how I know that is valid? Because previously I checked my input. To all, all the methods. So when I, I add element to the list, I make my input verification. And here I have the place where I'm making sure that the loaded files are exactly of the size of three. So I know I have loaded three files, and now I can actually uh, start to. Now and I actually can start to load uh, real files to my memory. Cool. Let me just save it. And let me just then run the test. 
it should actually pass I expect that this test will will pass. And now we will we won't see any other additional output in the console. Now it just runs like I expect. Cool. Now I have a passing test. Um, So you see, I'm getting hold of uh, st uh, status of valid loaded XML file paths, which is a per default I I per constructor it is false, but but um, yeah, it, it is initialized as false, but after files loading process has finished, it knows, okay, now I can proceed further. Let me just actually make here some notification system out of system out println println loading loading of files success Let I just run the test once again so now my application can load actually the files and through the automating tests we actually see that I don't type the stuff running automating tests loading of file success I have forgotten to ask the second S um, but still this is a small step but with a pretty huge pretty huge result so now I need just to extract this method factor extract the method verify state Verify state of I will say verify loading state file 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 input verify complete verify complete file Verify complete file input. Verify complete file input. File files to XML that input. Now this method actually I want to call. Let's just run the test once again. I know my my main controller gets some sort of a complicated, uh, but I plan to refactor it after I manage to actually load the data and represent in my UI. After that, I will spend some time on the refactoring of my main controller. I just extract some stuff into the uh, classes and methods and such on yeah. should be done mm. okay so now I have this stuff done and when I run all of my tests it shouldn't fail yeah it's different different languages testing different languages now it just inputs the file. Cool. 
and this is the power of unit test. Because forget it when you do it without any tests, you probably will spend more time in debugger. And I actually didn't spend too much time debugging in my code. I cannot actually recall it. Mm. But tests are pretty important, and this is a good example of it. So now it do it this one. Okay. Now let's just try it once again. Okay. One thing I, I think I just forgot. Yeah. Uh, I need to add one stuff to my cleaner, memory cleaner. Memory. Clean up, clean up method, clean up memory for, uh, from invalid input. Uh, actually, did I pass some stuff when I let just be cautious and make here actually clean too, just for the sake of it, and it should actually run without any problem. Let me just run it once again. This is the power of unit test. You cannot refactor your code when you don't have any amount of tests. So you need unit test to refactor your code to be efficient enough. And this is pretty pretty cool stuff. How to, to do it. It's kind kind of funny <laughs> thinking about how I was able to do it. And I see I am almost at the time. Let me finish this coding session with the following statement. Unit test is important if you want to refactor your code. When you do no, when the when you when you don't write any unit test, you will spend your time inefficient, and you will produce less efficient code. So let me just uh, wait for a moment until it's all finished, and you clearly see nothing was broken. And all of my tests pass. And basically, that's it for this coding session. Yeah, all green, all passing. So, so, so it, how it should be. Thank you. Until next end.